Okay, so this is making selections, trying to make a really, really good selection of the hair. If you are on any selection menu, any selection menu, so I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit here. So I wanna get like this whole thing with all the little flyaways. Um, all you have to do is just make a little bit of a selection and then you can click on this select and mask right away. And up here, I'm just gonna go to overlay and right here I've got the, the, the magic selection tool. Um, so, I'm going to select as much as I can. Right now I'm really only worried about the hair and that happens when I try to select. I'm going to have to come in with some different tools and select like the rest of the arm and the background because I uh, it's just a little, they're a little too close in color. There we go. Okay. So now that you've done that, okay, um, I can keep trying to add to the hair here. And the best way to do it is to kind of keep it inside the, the outer edge of the selection. And so there's the little like loop of the hair. So once I've done that, now I wanna come in here and I wanna get some more of these strays and flyaways. So I click on this little guy here called the Refine Edge. Okay, and actually it's working pretty well. Um, if you can see, it's, it's, it's actually giving me a good highlight here of the hair. And I can just click back to the magic wand tool and just kind of, or the, not the magic wand tool, the selection tool. And I can, and then I can keep coming back here and just kind of keep adding to that area. If I zoom in a little, I've got like right here is still a little bit of a problem but I just keep going back and forth and back and forth between the quick selection tool and the uh, refine edge tool. So then I'm just like coming in here and it's gonna keep doing that, okay. So it, after a certain point, I've noticed it just sort of, that, that, that actually worked pretty good right there. But after a certain point, it just sort of loses its ability to help you out, I think. And so you just keep going through, going through, and adding to it, and adding to it. And then what you do is once you have a selection that you're, that you're pretty happy with, and I want to select all these little parts inside of the head, too. So I want to make sure that I get, like for example, right there. And then I'm just going to go through and kind of do the outside here. But I definitely lost these couple pieces in her hair. So I definitely want to come back and do this right here. And But I still have these wispies selected. So that's that's I'm doing pretty good as far as that goes. Okay, so I'm just adding that back in because when I did the refine edge tool, it kind of over, it kind of takes out a little bit of the hair. So now that I've done that, I actually want to take my radius and click on smart radius. Sometimes this has a, so there we go, and I'm just increasing that radius a little bit. And as you can see, it's bringing the radius out on the hair itself. There we go, and it kind of appears. I always like to smooth out my selection a little bit. I think it looks better in the final. And give it a one pixel feather. And I click OK, and there's my selection. So that's a much better selection than I would have gotten just trying to use the, the magic selection tool.